This time we're doing one of my favorite tracks of Grey Era, which is Honeycomb. We play in standard tuning, except the low E, which we drop down to a C. The rest are standard. I divided the riff in two main parts, and each of them has four. So in total, there are eight parts. The first part starts with your third fret of the A, followed by open D, to the third fret of the B, to the fifth fret of the G with your pinky, to the fourth fret of the G, to open G, hammering on on the second fret, then hammering on on the fourth fret at that same time, and you pull off of the fourth fret to an open. So, which is. Then you continue by playing the second fret of the G, open G, third fret of the B, with your ring finger, for example. So, then you play and slide on the D to the 4th fret, then you play open G, back to the 4th fret of the D, then you slide up the G on the 7th fret, and then you play back the 5th fret, so So now for the second part, it almost goes the same. And right here, instead of sliding to 7th fret, you play open G, open A, and you go into the next part. So. So now comes the third part, which is the same as the first one. And here comes the fourth part, which is the same as the second one. Basically, two identical. And here comes the fifth part, which now changes. And we go to the second fret of the low E, which is now a C. Usually I play it together with the open A, but it's not necessary. If you want more sound, you can just add it. You put your pinky on the 4th fret of the D, you play it, you play open G, then back to the D on the 4th fret, and you add your ring finger to the 3rd fret of the B. Then you play it open, and you play open G. So. You continue by playing the low E, which is now a C, together with the A on the 3rd fret, followed by open D, then open G, back to open D, pull off of the 1st fret of the B, open G, to 2nd fret of the D, to open D. So. The whole fifth part together. So the sixth part goes almost the same. 
here, this time you play open B, open G, second fret of the D again, open D. So the sixth part together. Now for the seventh part, it is the same as the fifth. Now for the eighth part, which is the last one, you go almost the same as the fifth. But here, you bar down your high E with your point finger to the second fret, and you play it. So. Then you release it, the point finger, and you put your middle finger on the third fret of the B, play it, and then play it open. So. And to finish the part, you put your point finger on the third fret of the A, you play it together with the open low E, open D, open G, back to the open D. Then you go with your pinky to the 5th fret of the B, to the 3rd fret of the B, to open B, to open G. And you repeat the whole song. So the 8th part together. and you start over. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the riff as much as I did. You can check my Patreon to support me or you can choose the lesson for the next video. Bye guys.